Earthlight by Arthur C. Clarke is a compelling exploration of the future, set in a universe where humanity has spread across the solar system. The novel examines the tension between Earth and its colonies on the Moon and other planets, focusing on the political and social dynamics that arise as a result of this expansion. Clarke's narrative delves into the themes of human ambition, the inevitability of conflict, and the quest for knowledge, all while maintaining a sense of wonder about the vastness of space. The novel is set in the 22nd century, a time when humanity has established colonies on the Moon, Mars, and other parts of the solar system. Earth, however, remains the dominant political and economic power, leading to growing resentment among the colonies. The story revolves around Bertram Sadler, an Earthman who is sent to the Moon on a mission to investigate the possibility of espionage. As he navigates the lunar society, he becomes embroiled in the larger conflict brewing between Earth and the outer planets. Clark uses Sadler's journey to explore the complex relationships between Earth and its colonies. The Moon, while physically close to Earth, has developed its own identity and culture, shaped by the harsh environment and the necessity of self-reliance. This tension is mirrored in the broader political situation, where the colonies are beginning to chafe under Earth's control. Clark portrays this struggle for independence with a nuanced understanding of the historical parallels, drawing on the history of Earth's own colonial past. At the heart of Earthlight is the idea that conflict is an inherent part of human nature. Clark suggests that as humanity expands into space, the same old conflicts will follow, driven by competition for resources, power, and survival. The novel's climax, a battle between Earth and the colonies, is depicted with a mixture of awe and dread. Clark's description of the battle is both technically detailed and emotionally charged, reflecting his deep understanding of the potential and dangers of space warfare. However, Earthlight is not just a tale of conflict. Clark also emphasizes the importance of knowledge and exploration. The novel is filled with descriptions of the lunar landscape and the technology that makes life on the moon possible, showcasing Clark's fascination with space and science. The title itself, Earthlight, refers to the light reflected from Earth that illuminates the lunar surface, symbolizing the connection between Earth and its colonies, as well as the enlightenment that comes from scientific discovery. Clark's writing is characterized by a sense of optimism about the future, despite the conflicts that arise. He envisions a future where humanity, despite its flaws, continues to push the boundaries of what is possible, driven by a desire to understand the universe. This optimism is tempered by a realistic understanding of the challenges that come with this expansion, particularly the dangers of technological warfare and the potential for political and social upheaval. The characters in Earthlight serve as representatives of the different factions and viewpoints within this future society. Sadler, as the protagonist, is an observer of the conflict, his neutrality reflecting the role of the reader in navigating the complex moral landscape of the novel. Other characters, such as the leaders of the colonies and the Earth government, embody the various political and social forces at play. Clark's characterizations are subtle, focusing more on the ideas they represent than on their personal stories, which enhances the novel's philosophical depth. In Earthlight, Clark combines his passion for science with a keen insight into human nature, creating a narrative that is both intellectually stimulating and emotionally resonant. The novel's exploration of the potential for conflict in space, as well as its celebration of human ingenuity, makes it a timeless reflection on the possibilities and perils of our future. Through his portrayal of a future where humanity has reached the stars but still struggles with its own nature, Clark offers a vision that is both cautionary and inspiring.